Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And first is uh, Sanctuary Cities and Sanctuary Colleges. Now look at this. Sanctuary Restaurant, a place at table for everyone. Text TABLE to 2255-68. Join the growing Sanctuary Restaurant movement. Which means they're... Uh, they are conspiring to commit crime. Uh, this is crime, because what they're doing is they're protecting the illegal aliens. And Trump's uh, really coming down on the Ill illegal aliens. He can't do everything in five days, but he is amazing. The debate over national immigration policy should could be coming to a diner near you. From down home de delis to upscale bistros, dozens of restaurants nationwide are seeking sanctuary status. Designation owners hopeful to protect employees in an immigrant heavy industry and tone down fiery rhetoric sparked by the president's presidential campaign. Uh, first inspired by churches, and now you see why I'm an agnostic. That's one of the reasons. The label some, something cities and other public entities have sought to offer local protections to illegals living in the U.S., where it's barring, whether it's barring police from asking citizens about immigration status or refusing to cooperate with federal agencies. Well, then they should be arrested for doing that. Roughly 80% restaurants are... Roughly 80 restaurants are participating in locations including New York, Minneapolis, Detroit, Boston, Oakland, California, and Ann Arbor, Michigan. The restaurants agree to anti-discrimination -discrim policies, put up signs on windows, pronounce their sanctuary status, and receive Know Your Rights trainings, such as web webinars on how to ask federal Im immigration agents for proper paperwork if there's an attempted raid. Some will also offer a text line for t customers or employees to report any incidents of harassment. So here we have organized crime uh, moving into the restaurants. This is organized crime. These are organized criminals. I ain't calling it as I see it. I don't care. At Detroit's Russell Street Deli, which serves up deli sandwiches and hotcakes, Customers walking in front of a racially divided, divisive restaurant see a sign that reads Sanc Sanctuary Restaurant plays at table for everyone. I have this one little piece where I get the sign how uh, tr people treat each other, says owner Ben Hall, was biracial and was moved to the sign after a few customers' racially tinged comments. If someone has the need to insult someone, they don't get to participate. I've told them there's another diner next door. Uh, that's my point. You see, one of these sanctuary restaurants don't give them any business. The movement is loosely defined and largely symbolic. I would say not. I call it organized crime. I call them as I see them. Restaurants are private businesses subject to workplace law and regulation and sanctuary designation do nothing to prevent federal agents from arresting their workers in the country illegally. But organizers of the sanctuary restaurants movement say, this, say it's a hard response, say it's a response to uncertainty surrounding President Donald Trump, whose com campaign Cornerstones include stepped up deportations and a wall along the Mexican border, but it's not given any details on how either would be carried out. They argue the restaurant industry is more 
vulnerable than others given its heavy reliance on immigrant labor. Not all restaurant industry groups agree with the tactic. National Restaurant Industry Association, which represents roughly 500,000 businesses, is instead pushing for an immigration overhaul, including an updated verification system that confirms employees' eligibility to work in the country legally. Not good. Association uh, Senior Vice President Steve Dannon said the organization is looking forward to working with the Trump administration on ways to make verification easier and more cost-efficient. Good. This is getting out of hand. It kind of reminds me of uh, Capone and his battle, constant battles from the feds. And there's not much difference. Uh, if you know your history, Al Capone ran these uh, gin joints called speakeasies. The speakeasy is a place where you need to go basically drink when alcohol was illegal. And Al Capone was notorious for having run those. This is no different. I wonder who's behind this. This is organized crime when they're doing this type of thing. I don't care. Hire Americans. There's plenty of people sitting on their asses that could be doing this type of work. I gotta go. I'm gonna try to hold the links down. Lots of overtime this week. Seems uh, after the inauguration, a number of my co workers just don't want to work. Hmm. I wonder why. It does lead me to wonder a few things without getting specific. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.